All right, so today I just want to go over a real quick uh, video on a useful online tool that is uh, called um, NC Viewer. So, so we're just going to go up here to uh, our web browser and type in ncviewer.com. And this will bring up our editing software here that we can use. Now, when you get into uh, this page, the very first thing that you're going to notice is, of course, the grid uh, for our X, Y, and Z axis. And then uh, there's all of this information over here. Now, this is a, a example of another program. So if you want to, you can just kind of hit a plot on this uh, and it would kind of uh, show and come up with different stuff uh, but we really don't need any of this this you can read through all of this if you'd like so it gives you more information on how to uh, do different things here so but what we really need to do is just come right up here to this folder or this uh, file right here where it says new file and we're going to click on new file to get a new G codes and start writing our program now, if you want to see the sample, so we can load this example here, and we can say plot. Now, notice this is a plot orientation is horizontal Y up. If you turn this on, it'll change it to vertical with the Z up. So, and then we could kind of plot that out and see what that is. But for today, we're going to start with a new file, and we're going to uh, label this as uh, program number O0036. We're going to put a note here so uh, of what this cuts. This cuts uh, the H shape from our shape, uh, hidden shapes coordinate page. Then we will go ahead and hit enter. Now, I find it easier to go ahead and work in caps. So, so if you go back here and uh, have caps on, it'll give you the uppercase. So we're going to go in 10, G O O or G 0 0. And I'm G 17, G 40, G80. Now these are all of our prep codes. So we remember what the uh, prep codes are as we go. So these first five lines of code are going to be the same on everything. So G uh, next one on line N20. And notice before I hit a, uh, enter between each of these. So let's just type this out and go. So G90, G94, G98. Enter, and you can kind of see some of the differences between the two, uh, how they kind of look. So I generally find that it's a little bit easier to read the code if we kind of put some spacing in between there. But for the machine, it doesn't really matter. So N30 is next. And that's going to be our G54 line. So N40 will be our height offset. So this is going to be G. 43. Uh, we're going to use tool 4 in this case, and this will be H04 as you go, and then our M0 uh, for the program stop. Now we're also going to put some parentheses in here too, so we're going to spell this out. This is going to be a quarter inch uh, finish end mill, so we want to put that in there too, um, just to let people know that are reading the code what's going on. So our next line here is N50, and this is going to be our speed command. So we're going to say uh, speed, so we're going to go ahead and with, give it a speed of uh, 1000, and we're going to turn the spindle on uh, here as well, so with the M3. Next line is N60, and uh, this is going to be our safe positioning mode in the X uh, and the Z, our X and the Y. So it will be G00, X of 1.00, Y of 1.00. So it's going to move to that position. Next line in 70. Uh, we're still in rapid now. This is going to be our safe positioning mode in the Z. So we're going to go Z of uh, 0. 100. So that's going to be our uh, 
basically we're going to come down a hundred thousandths above the part. Now, if you recall, if you've got material on that hundred thousandths um, where you're machining off in the first thing, that might kind of crash. So you want to be careful with where you choose your safe positioning moves when you're in rapid. But essentially, if you take a look, um, uh, basically these first several lines of code what we call the prep code are going to be the same for every one of your programs now we're going to go ahead and start to get into right in the body of the program so we'll go n80 and this is going to be a g01 so we're going to slow this down with a linear position move and we're going to go a z of minus uh, 0, 0.0 0 uh, zero zero and we got if we do a geo one we've got to give it a feed rate so we're going to say a feed rate of uh, 3.000 0 inches or 3.0 inches is fine there in 90 so now we're again going to start to move in so to the part and cut the actual part so um and actually, in this case, we're going to move back here. So we're going to actually start to cut when we enter in to the Z here. So we're going to go minus 30 thousandths in to cut that part. Let's go ahead now. And now we're going to start to move around uh, the part with this as well. So we're going to go X 1.000, Y of 9.000. That's the first positioning move. Remember, it's cutting at this time in 100 uh, x of 4 and y of 9 okay now you're going to continue entering these coordinates for the whole line i'm not going to take the time on this video so i'm going to stop the video at the moment uh, enter these coordinates and i'll come back and we'll talk about the end of program code all right, so I have the body of the program written out. You can kind of see that line of code. Uh, once we have gotten back to where we're cutting, we want to do a retract move. We want to get the, the machine spindle up and out of there. So we're going to go to a, a Z move here now with this, where we will go uh, Z. And in this case, I'm going to take it back to uh, 100 thousandths above the part. That's a good, safe uh, retract value for a Z. Uh, my next line of code then here will be to uh, move back into a rapid mode. So this will be G00 uh, for the rapid move. So make sure that you're using zeros and not O's. Then we'll go Z of one inch above this. Now in normal programming, this is probably going to be going back to where your tool change location is uh, in 250. Uh, with the next line of code now we're going to do another safe positioning mode and when we do this uh, on the machine we want to basically kind of do this in a way where the uh, uh, that part's going to come out towards the operator so that they can uh, so it'll be easier for them to remove the part and put the next part in so i'm just going to put an x of two a y of one in here uh, we'll see how that affects and where that goes to in the machine when we do that um, and as our uh, last couple of lines of code here, so now that we've cut, uh, we need to kind of come in here and we're going to, of course, if the machine was turned on, we're going to turn the uh, machine spindle off. So the MO5 here, of course, we would also be doing any type of, um, uh, if you turn the spindle off. Uh, our turn to coolant on would be turning the coolant off. We would also be doing some of those other uh, M codes to turn things off that we had turned on. And lastly, uh, we're going to do the M30 here as well. And this will kind of end our program. Now, most of these programs will also have that little uh, percentage sign at the end. So there is our program. It's finished. Uh, I don't see anything up here on the screen, but we're going to come back here and now I'll highlight the top and we're just going to hit plot. We're going to plot this out. And there you go. You'll see uh, our actual program. Now, if I come back over, keep my cursor up at the beginning of the program, you'll see that down here I can actually run through the program. And there's different steps to this. If I just hit the play button, it's going to real quick run that through. Uh, and that's good. So we got to come back here and start it back up and hit the play button. 
Uh, we can kind of rewind it if you want to go back the opposite way. So either way, but so we're back up. Now I can also step this through. So if I just move this, this is going to go one block at a time. We'll refer to that as the single block. And notice it will kind of go one at a time as it goes. Now this is very useful because if you see something on there that uh, isn't doing what you want it to do, then this will help you identify real easy the line of code where you made a mistake so that you can go back and use it. So, so there is our uh, NC viewer. This is the first uh, program here that we've uh, kind of taken care of. Uh, this program uh, 0036. Now to get this taken care of, this is one thing I don't like about the NC viewer, is we want to save this program. So uh, up here, so we can either open a file if we've got it, or we can uh, save the file. So if I just click save the file right now, notice this is going to come across and it's, uh, an, it's going to download this to wherever your computer is downloading these files. Notice in this case, it is uh, downloading it as new G code file too. So, so we'll go ahead and open this file. It's going to open this up as a text editor. Now to actually save this, you'll need to go in and go file, save as, and then you'll need to rename this the actual uh, file name, which is in this case will be 0, or 0, 0, 0036 hyphen your first initial, your last name uh, as you go. So first and last name. And uh, notice it's saving it on my computer in the download, so it'll save you. got to know and pay attention to where it's downloading at, and then click Save. Now you've got it onto your computer, and you can upload it into the assignment.